Hi, this tutorial about Google Docs is to show you how to create collections and work with collections. So, let's start first with creating a new collection. A collection, again, is simply Google's way of saying folders. Why don't they say folders? I don't know, because it's Google, but tell you about that's what these are. They're just folders. So, you go over here and create new collection. So, it's going to prompt you to enter the name. I'm going to make one called progress checks. Okay. Hit OK and you see that it appeared over here. Now there's nothing in it. That's a problem. Collections are designed to collect things. So what can we go and collect? Well, I'm going to go up here and hit all items and as you see I have a whole bunch of progress checks here. They probably need to be organized. So how do you organize them? Well you check them. I'm going to check a whole slew of these and then over here, if you notice, it says 11 selected, organize. You click organize, then it shows you where your collections are. So I want to put these in progress checks. So you check mark that, and then you hit apply changes. Now watch what happens to jam right there. Okay? What it does is it labels it. Really, Google is not about taking files and putting them places. It's about applying labels or tags to things. So you can have one document in multiple places or in multiple collections. If you look up here to these two, right here, you notice that I have them in two tags. That means I have them in two collections. That's the cool thing about this is you just click and you can actually add it to multiple ones. For example, if I wanted to reorganize these down here, I'd hit organize again and I can actually put them in my science inquiry folder if I would like. So then if I hit apply changes, you're going to see whoop, there's another tag that comes up here. So really it's not about putting it in the folders, it's just about tagging it. That's it. Now, that's making a whole new collection out here. Let's say I want to add a collection in my biologies. So what I would do is I come over here to this little down arrow and click and hit create new collection and I have progress checks for them as well so I'm going to put progress checks hit OK and you see now it put this folder underneath biology and you can actually keep going further I can create another collection within a collection and I can put science inquiry and it made a folder or a collection in that one so why do you need to make collections? well collections are how you organize your items. Now you can search by collection, you can search by the tag, and I just think it's easier because right now I'm in all items. This can get a little crazy. <laughs> I have a lot of documents. So if I just want to narrow it down to say, okay, I just want to look at my physical science third period list. This is everything that I have put in there. Okay? So basically it's a way of sorting and filtering. That's how they use their collections. And I would encourage you to have your students create collections and teach them how to organize in Google Docs and teach them it's not about files and folders, it's about tagging things. And you can have multiple documents within a tag. So, if you have any questions, there, uh, let me know. That's your basics of creating collections in Google Docs.